Hi everyone and welcome back to today's session which is called Upstairs Downstairs. So today we're going to talk about how understanding how our brain works and how it deals with anxiety or stress. Or So Dr. Dan Segal and Dr. Tina Payne Bryson in their book The Whole Brain Child use the analogy of using our hand to illustrate different parts of the brain um, that we need to understand. So today we're going to look at just three parts of the brain using the hand model. So they divide the brain up into two parts and they call them the upstairs part and the downstairs part. So in order for us to be able to manage our anxiety, we need to be able to understand how we can get our whole brain to work together to calm our fears and manage our anxiety. So younger children will need an adult to help them to do this. So parents also need to understand how to manage anxiety and fears by helping younger children to get their whole brain to work together. So we're interested in three areas today. So here I'll show you the palm of my hand. The green part is called the brainstem. So my thumb is the limbic system and the red dot here is called the amygdala. And the amygdala is like a little alarm for the downstairs part. And then the fingers are called the cerebral cortex. So this is the downstairs part and upstairs part. So the limbic system and the brainstem are downstairs part. And they're responsible for instinctive or automatic parts of functioning, things like swallowing, breathing, your digestive system, your heartbeat. They're all going to be controlled here by the brainstem. Then the upstairs part of the brain, this is called the cerebral cortex. And this part of the brain is involved in all of our rational thinking, language ability, movement and so on. So physically, these two parts of the brain are connected. But in terms of how they operate, sometimes they can operate independently of each other. So the downstairs part is going to act on instinct if they feel there is danger. And then afterwards, the upstairs part of the brain comes in to try and work out whether the situation that you're in is as dangerous as the downstairs part thinks it is. So in the downstairs part of the brain, you see here the amygdala. So this responds to fear. So anytime we perceive danger, if a child feels they're in a scary situation, it's the amygdala that, that reacts first. So it's like an alarm bell that gets set off and the brain then responds, so our breath quickens, our heart beats faster, our tummies might feel a little bit sick, and the upstairs part hasn't got the message yet. So the alarm is getting a little out of control, okay? So our goal for our children or ourselves is to ensure that we're not just reacting to the amygdala, but we bring in the upstairs part to help think about the situation. So when children feel out of control, then their perception of risk and their anxiety is going to be greater. So they'll be feeling scared and anxious and they might not know why. All they know is that their body is being flooded with all this emotion and that could be presenting through their behaviour. So you can see here the alarm is going off, the alarm is going off downstairs and the body is being flooded with all fears and anxieties and emotions and we have to bring in the upstairs part of the brain to get them thinking about what's happening. So what's really important is how we access the upstairs parts of the brain. So they need to be able to connect in with the rational thinking to manage their anxiety. And a really good way is to help them to name the feeling. So in naming the feeling, so I can see that you're feeling a bit afraid, you have a bit of anxiety, you're feeling a little scared at the moment. So when I name those feelings, I have to access the upstairs part of the brain. And this action is bringing the whole brain into action. And it starts to tame the feeling. See the amygdala? It's no longer out of control anymore. And it starts to calm down. Because we have to bring the thinking part in. So when you name the feeling, I see you're feeling a little bit afraid. We need to think about, well, is that what I'm feeling? And the minute we do that, we've engaged the top part of our brain. The upstairs part of the brain has been engaged. So we've tamed it. So we're naming it to tame it. So continuing to talk about what solutions you can come up with to help them to manage the feeling is further engaging the upstairs part of the brain. And this is allowing the downstairs part to soothe and it's being controlled, as you can see here. So once we have all the brain working together, the downstairs part can now relax, switch off the alarm and the upstairs part is going to manage. So the breath will be slower, the heart's calmed down, our bodies aren't being flooded, reducing the anxiety and reducing the panic and hopefully reducing some of the behaviours that you might be seeing at the moment.